YouTube. It's your boy GYC Scooter Vlogs coming with another uh, motor vlog for you guys today. So the whole deal about me not uploading guys, it's not because I haven't been out here riding and doing videos. I have. But uh, this is the problem. Let me go ahead and look in my rear room here for you guys. If you notice, I have no microphone. So what happened was guys, I was creating videos, taking them home. And I was like, man, what the heck's going on with my audio here? So I bought a new, because uh, my audio would either be no audio at all, or like a popping, crackling sounds, and uh, the most of the time be just no audio whatsoever. No scooter noise, no wind noise, no talking, no nothing. And so I was like, okay, maybe I need to replace the microphone. So I, I bought a new Purple Panda mic. That wasn't, uh, that didn't fix the issue. So I was like, oh, what the damn, darn it. Probably need a, uh, the GoPro mic adapter you know so about that i was like man we're good to go now when i created a video and whatnot came back uploaded it no video no audio i mean no uh, video yeah no audio so i took off the mic recorded without no uh mic adapter in there no mic at all the it records well audio video and all that works so i'm thinking well you know what man i can't be putting you guys on hold any longer so i decided to put like a little bit of dead cat with double size sticky tape i cut a little center hole for the speakers there to hopefully cut back on some of the excessive wind noise and i'll probably only be talking at stop signs because i don't think you guys are going to hear me if i'm out doing 45 50 miles an hour 55 and trying to talk to you guys i don't think you guys are going to hear me one bit so i'll probably just let you guys enjoy the ride for what it is and uh i'll end up talking at red lights stop signs something like that give you guys something to watch for the day so before I do give this here puppy some gas let me go ahead and say this much I'm working on buying a new GoPro I was talking to a, a GoPro associate like an agent you know I call GoPro and remind I mind you man let me go ahead and I'll tell you this I bought this here off of eBay refurbished so I'm not I got no warranty with GoPro and uh they're just telling me are you using the 3.5 millimeter jack adapter and i'm like yeah i said you know i'm a youtuber i've created uh, so many like 250 videos using the purple panda mic the gopro adapter and with my gopro hero 8. i said uh so i'm really uh, i'm really knowing how to use this uh, mic with the gopro but it's just not given it's not and then um they're like one thing you probably did is uh, bring it, unplug it, and plug it in one too many times. Maybe you messed up the the little USB-C port, you know? And I think they're right, because whenever I'm doing, like, test audios, like, hey, test one, test two, I noticed that it's got something to do with the plug-in port. No, not the mic adapter, not the mic, but adapter where it plugs up to the side of the GoPro I noticed that I noticed that whenever I plug it in one way there's no audio if I turn it around the other way hey I got lucky I got a little audio in my video but if I hit a bump or something it'll go off you know what I mean the slightest little movement so I think it is something to do with that uh, C port that C uh, USB C my plan is right now guys to save it up for another gopro i either want a gopro 7 or a 8 i like these gopro 8s the stabilizations are really good the stabilization fitting and plus i'm really used to the gopro 8 but uh i've also been looking at other options like hey uh i wonder uh there's a uh, I go to YouTube and I'd be like, hey, what is a, a budget GoPro, a motor, like a motor vlog um, action camera that doesn't cost as much as like a GoPro? And I'm thinking a Casio. They say something like an Casio uh, 4K. See, I always do 1080p. I, my computer will only upload up to 27K. So I don't even do 4K. My computer is a Dell, a Spiron, all-in-one computer. So I don't got 
even a computer that will handle a 4K image upload. But yeah, so basically, man, that's what's my deal right now, guys. And I also got my uh, things drying right now. So basically, my paint arrived. I sanded these things down really good. And uh, the red really came out looking pretty good like the rest of the uh, bike. So I'm really letting them dry right now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and install it. Go get this here baby a washing. And uh, my next video, you guys ought to be able to see the uh, vents on there. Let me go ahead and handle my business at the ATM, guys. And I'll, I'll see you in a matter of a second. All right, guys. Let's hit the road again. I was tripping out on that airplane. I don't know if you guys can see it from right here. But uh, we're just like maybe a quarter mile away from an airport. It looks like that little Cessna. If you guys can see it, it's getting ready to land. Man, it makes me want to ride by the airport and go see some airplanes land. But every time I get over there, there's nothing landing, man. It's just a plain old airport. Alright, guys. Let's see how my scooter's going to start up. I know I need a valve adjustment. All right, not good. All right, some time to charm. So, just to know for anybody that uh, just bought a scooter, and you know when you first get your scooter, it starts right up, right? It should. The first, the first little push on that button, if you got your, you know, you got your kickstand up, it's a 150 cc. You normally gotta, uh, the kickstand's gotta be up. I like the 50 cc's that I've actually uh, ridden. None of them. You can just start your bike with the side stand, the side kick them down, and let your bike right come up that way. So yeah, the 50 cc's. You gotta have the kick stand up. So high guys is uh you want to stay visible to the other uh drivers out here you gotta remember this year scooters don't come with the best headlights you know? that's why i think i'm gonna do exactly like my boy kachi's kid uh anybody that follows uh kachi's kids uh channel on youtube you'll notice that his last upload was uh, uh him installing the light bar on his uh, 150cc uh, Hope. And that's what we do need on these scooters, guys. But yeah, man, uh, where there's a wheel, there's a way. And I was struggling for the longest time, like, how, the, how am I going to put a light bar? And I started thinking, I could buy uh, two four inch light bars and uh, delete my mirrors here and do handlebar mirrors. So I can have my two four inch light bars right here, you know, that they screw into the eight millimeter little hole right here. But um, 
I'm thinking that Country's kid had a nice little example there. He just uh, went about it, put it on his uh, headlight cover. Somebody else was telling me, hey, why don't you use, uh, why don't you report separately? Shit, man, uh, I was looking into that, it just looks a little confusing, you know? I'm so used to creating my videos one way, with the purple panda, and, uh, you know, to do a test cam, or record my audio on my phone, or whatever, you know, it just sounds a little confusing. Stop to go here. jacket and plus uh, I 
should open it up halfway. That's it. Yeah, man. Um, I took off the winter liner. There's like a liner that you can wear here in winter to keep really warm. Or you can turn this thing into a windbreaker. So I got it like in a windbreaker mode right now. Still a little too hot though. I'm gonna just 